He pages fix sports e car sales real estate and news network two top U.S. Marine Corps leaders have sent an ominous warning to American troops to be prepared, saying the enemy is watching you. News Corp Australia Network December 24, 2171 to 15 p.m. A top U.S. Marine Corps general has sent an ominous warning to American troops stationed across the world to be prepared for a new war coming. Marine Corps Commandant General Robert Nellis sent a very clear, stern warning to the troops, I hope I'm wrong, but there's a war coming, he told them. You're in a fight here, an informational fight, a political fight by your presence, Nella pointed to the near-future possibility of Russia and the Pacific theater being the next major areas of conflict. Sergeant Major Ronald Green of the Marine Corps sounded a similar tone, just remember why you're here. Green said, they're watching, just like you watch them, they watch you. We've got 300 Marines up here, we could go from 300 to 3,000 overnight. We could raise the bar, the warnings came a day before Defense Secretary Jim Mattis told troops at Fort Bragg, ANC, that, storm clouds are gathering, over the Korean Peninsula. Whether the comments were more than motivational rhetoric remained unclear. Neller and Green's arrival in Norway coincided with heightened tensions between the US and its NATO allies and Russia. According to Military.com, Russia warned Norway that its decision to host a new unit of U.S. troops through the end of 2018 would negatively affect relations. Norway has insisted having U.S. troops stationed there is merely part of an effort to enhance ties with NATO allies and conduct cold-weather combat operations. At AQ, could shift its focus from the Middle East to Eastern Europe, citing Russia's conflicts with Ukraine and Georgia as justification. He told the Marines that they should be prepared for a big ass fight on the horizon. Russia has reportedly been uneasy about the presence of American troops close to its borders. The 300 U.S. Marines deployed to Norway in June 2016 were the first foreign troops allowed to operate in the country since World War II. In September of this year, Russia conducted a joint military exercise with neighboring Belarus that involved 12,700 troops. U.S. troops land with parachutes at the military compound near Torun, central Poland, on June 7, 2016, as part of the NATO Anaconda 16 military exercise. Picture, AFP source. AFP a new national security strategy unveiled by the Trump administration on Monday singled out Russia and China as two world powers challenging American power, influence, and interests, attempting to erode American security and prosperity. This story originally appeared on Fox News and has been republished with permission.